Hi friends, in this video I'm going to be sharing with you my Vitacost haul. Now I'm also going to be sharing my Vitacost haul from September. What happened was I filmed that video on a day in a life vlog and I had intended to include it in the the daily vlog as just part of the vlog but the vlog wound up being like close to 40 minutes long as it was so in editing it did not make it to that video and so I just held on to the footage thinking I would do a separate video and time got away from me in September and it just never happened so I still have that footage and I thought I will just include that in this video as well so here is the Vitacost haul for September all right the first thing I pulled out is some of this gelatin I put this in my coffee every morning this is a repurchase but it was a long time ago when I purchased this the first time um, I've got about that much left in the bottom of my jar, so I thought, well, I better order some more. So I got some gelatin. It's unflavored. You can use it for desserts, for jelly, you know, with fruit juice. You can use it however, but I like to put it in my coffee. It's, um, uh, it's from pasture-raised cattle. Nine grams of protein, zero carbs, zero fat. So it adds a nice protein to my coffee, tea these days. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's really good. It's good for you. I'll just read a little bit on the back. It says, uh, Gillette, delicious gelatin is a pure protein derived from collagen. Collagen is the most abundant protein in the human body. It makes your hair, your fingernails, joints, um, you know, cartilage. Collagen has higher amounts of amino acids, proline, and glycine, glycine than more common protein sources, which can help balance your diet. Gelatin's gelling properties make it great for a variety of recipes. And it does not make my coffee or tea get thick. Also on the bottom it says it's gluten-free, paleo, and keto. So if you're doing paleo or keto, you can use that. Okay, so the next thing I picked up was some hemp hearts. I love hemp hearts. I love to add them to salads and just about anything. You can put them in a smoothie. You can sprinkle it on yogurt, put it on a salad. I even put it on my pizza sometimes, and it's really good. Um, it's another thing that has a lot of protein, 10 grams of protein, 12 grams of omega fatty acids, 3 and 6. So it's incredibly good for you. Lots of nutrition packed into these little tiny seeds that are really delicious. All right, the next thing I ordered was some more of the dehydrated white chopped onions. I use these in all kinds of recipes in the cooking and I was running low, so I picked up some more of that. The next item that I purchased is also a repurchase. It's the J.R. Watkins all-purpose um, cleaner and it is the lemon, lemon, just called lemon. I had this before, I really loved it. I just really liked it, I really loved it, and so couldn't wait to order some more. The next item I picked up was some more saw palmetto for Scott. Very good for men's health. And then I picked up some of this nutritional uh, yeast. Um, this, has like a cheese flavor to it and so we add it Olivia and I add it to anything that we want to have like a cheesy flavor like she she'll sprinkle it on her spaghetti in place of Parmesan cheese um, I'll mix it in with my homemade macaroni and cheese I'll be using my uh, dairy-free cheeses but then I'll add this and it just gives it a little pop more flavor um, it's also a superfood and it's fortified with vitamin B's additional vitamin B has um, one gram of carbs so barely any five grams of protein uh, it's got 
a small amount of vitamin D and a small amount of calcium, iron, potassium, riboflavin, thiamine, niacin, folate, vitamin B6, and vitamin B12. So highly good for you. Lots of really good things in there. The next thing I purchased was some more chicken gravy and some more brown gravy. Oh my goodness, they threw in a fish taco. That was a mistake. What the heck happened? <laughs> Whoops, that was a that was a boo-boo. I was supposed to have four chicken gravies and four brown gravies. I have four brown gravies, three chicken gravies, and a fish taco. <laughs> Oh well, I'm not going to worry about it. We never have fish tacos, but maybe I can use it for something else. Who knows? And then the last thing I picked up from Vitacost this time was some more of my uh, instant mashed potatoes. I haven't purchased these in quite a while. Um, I don't know why exactly. Not that I, you know, I just, just didn't. Had other things I needed to purchase, I guess. But, you know, with the holidays coming and everything, I want to stock up on this kind of stuff for those hectic days um, when you need to just throw something on the table really quick. And now that I'm going to be starting a job soon, you know, that's going to change the dy dynamics of our cooking, our meals a little bit. So I went ahead and got one, two, three, four, five, six boxes of the instant mashed potatoes because it takes about three boxes to feed my family because my family loves mashed potatoes. Okay, onward to Vitacost Hall for October. Now, October, you know, the weather's getting colder. You start hearing about flus and colds and things going around. People are starting to get sick. Kids are back in school and that always, kids in school always wind up catching everything it seems. So. I personally do not get the flu shot. I don't, I don't trust it. I, I'm not gonna get into all that. It's your own personal opinion. I'm not gonna look down on you if you get a flu shot. In fact, my husband got one this year, but I personally don't want to get one. I would prefer to build my immunity more naturally. So to that end, I have bought some products for the cold and flu season. Um, my main arsenal that I use during the winter, fall and winter months is elderberry juice. I really like this um, brand. It works really well and this is a concentrate. I just um, add a teaspoonful to a little glass of water and drink it down. It's not fantastic, it's, but it's not horrible either. You know, I just, every morning I take my elderberry juice. So I had to stock up on that, so I got one of those. The next thing I got is not so much a preventative of a cold, but it is in case you catch a cold. And it's good for, like if you're having allergies, sometimes when I have really bad allergies and I have a lot of drainage, my throat will get sore. And so I picked up these, they're actually considered candy, but um, they are Manuka Honey Nuggets. Honey is very good for soothing um, sore throats. And I had purchased these in the past and they work really, really well as a throat lozenge if you have a sore throat. Um, and it's basically honey is the main ingredient. It's got uh, cane sugar and organic brown rice syrup, probably you have to cook it down to make it into a hard candy. Otherwise, I don't think you can cook honey down <laughs> to make it into a hard candy. So those other ingredients are just to make it um, hard. But that's all there is, those three ingredients. And um, so I swear by them. They work great. I like them much better than any other kind of cough drop or throat lozenge that you can buy. The next item I purchased is actually a, a repurchase. Um, they didn't have the brand that I had bought before, so it's a different brand, but it is Vitamin B Gummies. 
Uh, vitamin B is very good for energy. If you're lacking energy, if you're feeling drained, you may have a vitamin B deficiency. So I would highly um, recommend that you add a vitamin B to your uh, diet. This is sweetened with real fruit juice and honey. There are no artificial flavors or sweeteners, no high fructose corn syrup, and they are gluten and dairy free. And um, it's, they support energy production. Like I said, it converts food to fuel and it's good for your nervous system and for red blood cell formation. So if you are feeling a little anemic, you would need some iron, but also some B12. Since I don't eat red meat, I can't eat beef, um, I do definitely need more B vitamins in my diet. So I take this as a supplement. When I first started taking the B12, um, I was just tired all the time. I would go to bed tired, I'd wake up tired, I would hardly have any energy, I would you know, be awake for maybe two hours and then I'd just feel drained and exhausted. And actually my sister is the one who said, you probably need some B12, B12 in your diet. And so I started taking B12 and it really does help. I'm, I'm swear it really helps a lot. The next item is a repurchase and it is my acacia uh, tummy fiber for my IBS. Heather has a an actual website and I used to get my fiber through her but it's actually a bit cheaper through Vitacost so I started getting it through Vitacost and also um, if you get order so much through Vitacost, you get free shipping and you don't get free shipping at Heather's website. So if you are needing a good soluble fiber for um, IBS or any other kind of gut problems, I would recommend that you get it from Vitacost. I have two more like supplement type items here. And the first one is a tea and it's Moringa and black tea. Um, I've talked about Moringa before on my um, channel, and it is a, a superfood, really. Um, you can go online, Google it, go to webmd.com, look under vitamins and uh, herbals supplements, and they will give you a breakdown of the benefits of Moringa. It's very safe, and it's per main reason that it's been in not in the news, but on YouTube, and I've heard about it more on the internet lately, is because of its uh, benefits for joint health, um, arthritis, it helps with pain and, and things like that. I do have some joint problems. I don't have, have arthritis per se, but I do have some joint problems. But that's not the reason why I started taking Moringa, drinking it in a tea form. And the reason I have is because of my gut issues. It is supposed to be very good for digestion and helps to heal your gut. And so I had purchased some Moringa tea from thistlefarms.com, the organization that helps um, women in trouble. And I love that tea. It is so good. And I, you know, the jury's still out as to whether it is helping my digestion or not. It's nothing, been no miraculous thing right now, but I, you know, it might take t some time to um, help. Um, it's not hurting me at all, and I really like it. Um, so I thought I would try this Moringa tea from Vitacost because it is quite a bit cheaper. If I like this, then I won't um, purchase from Thistle Farms again because it was pretty pricey. Um, but if I don't like this, I'll just break down and get it from Thistle Farms because I really, really like that tea a lot. So another thing to that end I decided to get was this Moringa um, Drops. Moringa Oil Drops. And as you can see on here, if you can see that, it's for energy, mental alertness, alertness, skin, digestion, and so much more. And let me go ahead and open this. Comes in a bottle like this, and you just put, you take two milliliters, which would be on the dropper, it'll show. You can take it directly in your mouth, and you would hold it under your tongue. If, 
Anytime you're taking an oil like this in your mouth, you wanna do it sublingually, which means under your tongue, and you just hold it for 30 to 90 seconds. It goes almost directly into your bloodstream that way. It's very fast acting. Um, but you can also um, put it in your food drink or your drink, however you wanna do it. So what I was thinking <clears throat> of doing is just adding this to my tea in the mornings when I, you know, every morning when I drink my tea, since it's Moringa tea anyway, I would just put a two milliliters of this in my tea and we will see if it does uh, makes any difference. I'll just read on here what it says. Moringa is known as the miracle plant. Bionutrition uses the finest African Moringa derived from select hand-picked leaves. Moringa is a tree, as by the way. This nutrient-dense food is rich in vitamin A, B, C, and the minerals iron and potassium. Also contains essential amino acids as well as coenzymes and antioxidants. Moringa 5000 can be a healthy addition to anyone's diet and may contribute to overall health. Bionutrition uses the finest quality Moringa in a more absorbable, convenient liquid. So, gonna give that a try. And we'll, hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to heal this gut of mine and I'll stop having issues. <laughs> Every time anything happens in our life that causes any kind of stress, I have a um, IBS attack and it is not fun. Let me tell you, it is not fun. Um, the day after my goat, our goat died, I had an IBS attack. It took me four days to start feeling better. And so, yeah, I just, I'm just, I'm up to here with it. I'm fed up with it and I'm ready to find solutions, answers, and to be rid of it. So I'm trying everything I can to heal my digestion. I only ordered one food type uh, item this time and that's some more of my gravy mixes. These things are so convenient. Um, brown gravy and chicken gravy, especially since I can't do cream soups because of the dairy issue. I can use the chicken gravy mix and you know just make a gravy with it and replace uh, canned cream of chicken uh, soup in recipes. That's very helpful. And then the brown gravy, it's just, they're just really good. They're really good. I highly recommend them. Especially if you are either a lazy cook like me, or if you don't have a whole lot of time, or both. So my last two items are beauty products. Um, I picked up some of this rose hip seed oil soap. I've never tried this before, but I love rose hip oil. I love it. I have rosehip oil. I put it on my face every night before I go to bed. It's, it absorbs quickly, doesn't leave a greasy mess on your pillow, and when you wake up in the morning, your skin is so soft. Uh, I don't, thankfully, I've been blessed so far with not having a lot of wrinkles, um, but I do notice some fine lines appearing around my eyes, and so I have been doing a lot of things to prevent those from getting worse. And I swear by the rose hip seed oil for around your eyes and for fine lines and wrinkles. It does a great job. So I wanted to try this soap um, as part of my beauty regime when I wash my face at night before I go to bed. So that's why I purchased that and it was pretty inexpensive. It was uh, $3.93, which is about average for a beauty bar, I think. And then the last item I purchased is a repurchase, but you probably won't remember because it was a really long time ago when I purchased it the first time, and it was this rose water. Um, I like to, I just take the lid off, use a cotton ball, and every morning before I put my makeup on, I use this as like a toner, and I just rub my face all over with it. It smells like roses. It's very um, invigorating to my skin, and I just really, really like it. It kind of conditions my skin for the day. So yeah, I really like it. It's made from European roses. All right, friends, that is my October 
Vitacost haul. I hope you enjoyed the September one and this October one. Thanks so much for watching, friends, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.